Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infinite Lonopedia. This video covers important MCQs for online exam subject CSS. CSS is cascading style sheet. Let's get started. First question is if you want to align text to the right side of a block element in a cascading style sheet that is CSS then which of the following property would you use? Answer is D. Text align. Text align property is used to align the text. Second question is CSS stands for. Answer is C. Cascading style sheets. It is used to design HTML tags. CSS it is widely used language on the web. HTML, CSS and JavaScript are used for designing web. It helps the web designers to apply style on the HTML tags. Third question is which of the following is the correct syntax for referring the external style sheet? Answer is D. Link element space then goes all the attributes. REL attribute equals to with value in double quotes style sheet then second attribute type equals to in double quotes text slash CSS and the third attribute href equals to with value in double quotes example.css. This line of code will add external CSS file named example. External style sheets are used when you want to make changes on multiple pages. Link attribute link element is used here. This element is put inside the head section. Let's move to the fourth question. The property in CSS used to change the background color of an element is answer is C background color. The property name is background color. It is used to specify the background color of an element. Covers total size including padding and border and excluding margin. Fifth question is the property in CSS used to change the text color of an element is answer is B color. Color property is used in CSS to set the color of the HTML elements. It is used to set font color of an element. We use color values for specifying the color and we can also use this property for the border color and other decorative effects. Sixth question is the correct syntax to give a line over text is answer is C. Text decoration with value over line. This sets the kind of text decoration like overline, underline or line through to the text. Seventh question, which of the following CSS property specifies the origin of the background image? Answer is A. Background origin. This property helps us to adjust the background image of the web page. Question number eight. Which type of CSS is used in the below code? Answer is A. Inline CSS. If you want to use inline CSS, you should use the style attribute to the relevant tag. The inline CSS is also a method to insert style sheets in the HTML document. There are three types of CSS. So in the above code, inline CSS is used. Ninth question, which of the following selector in CSS is used to select the elements that do not match the selectors? There are different types of selectors in CSS. Answer is B, not selector. In CSS, not selector matches the elements that are not the specified element. Question number 10, the CSS property used to set the distance between the borders of the adjacent cells in the table is answer is C border spacing it is used to set the distance between the borders of the adjacent cells in the table it applies only when the border collapse property is set to separate question number 11 which of the following CSS property is used to add shadows to the text answer is a text shadow this property adds shadows to the text it accepts the comma separated list of shadows. It applies one or more than one text shadow effect on the elements text content. Question number 12. 
which of the following is the correct syntax to select all paragraph elements in a div element? Answer is A. Div P. The CSS descendant selector is used to match the descendant elements of a particular element and represent it using a single space. Next question, how to select the selectors with the class name example? Answer is C dot example. The class selector selects HTML elements with a specific class attribute. It is used with a period or dot character or full stop symbol followed by the class name. A class name should not be started with a number. Question number 14. Which of the following CSS property is used to specify the space between every letter inside an element? Answer is C. Letter spacing. In CSS, letter spacing property is used to control the space between every letter inside an element or the block of text. Next one. Which of the following is used to specify the subscript of text using CSS? Answer is A. Vertical align with value sub. The sub of vertical align property is used to make the text subscript in CSS. It is generally used to write chemical equations or chemical formulae such as H2O, H2SO4 and others. Vertical align property with value sub is used to specify subscript of text in CSS. Question number 16. The CSS property used to make the text bold is answer is A. Font weight property with value bold. The font weight property is used for setting the thickness and boldness of the font. Question number 17. Which of the following is the correct syntax to make the background color of all paragraph elements to yellow? Answer is A. P. Element selector. Property name background color with value yellow. This will change the background color of an element. From all the above option, the correct syntax is A. That is, first will be the selector P, then in curly braces, background hyphen color colon value yellow and ended with semicolon and close of the curly braces. This is the syntax. This is the correct syntax. Let's move to the next question. 18. The HTML attribute used to define the internal style sheet is answer is A style tag or element. The internal style sheet is used to add a unique style for a single document. It defined it is defined in head section of the HTML page inside the style tag. Question 19. The HTML attribute used to define inline CSS is answer is style. For inline style, style attribute is used. If you want to use inline CSS, you should use the style attribute to the relevant tag. And for internal style sheet, style tag is used. Last question is the CSS property used to control elements font size is answer is C font size. Font size property is used to specify the height and size of the font in CSS. It affects the size of the text of an element, whereas the default value is medium and is applied to every element. Thank you very much for watching this video. This video will definitely help you with CSS. Let me know in the comments box below. With this, hit the like button, share and subscribe in Fortnite Learnopedia.